Hi everybody, this is Ron Hatton, Gadgetman, uh, Gadgetman Technology, Gadgetman Reading, dot dot dot, right? And we're sitting here this time with Amanda Wallace, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amanda, um, uh, well, this is just an introductory one on one kind of thing, but you get a chance to, to share your insights and your experiences in a very real way. Awesome, and we're all involved. Uh, so why don't you look out here and introduce yourself and tell everybody who you are, uh, where you come from, and what brings you, that is a long story, what brings you up to the be in my favorite requirement today. Uh, yes, absolutely. My name is Amanda Wallace. I work in Conway, Arkansas. I started with this when I met Aaron. He was a mutual friend. I had already been in school for a degree for chemical engineering. Science and mathematics are my thing. I love it. Anything about it, and I just eat it up. So when I heard about what he had to say about offshore energy, it was, you know, so fascinating. I loved it. It was what I've been looking for. It was the passion that I had been missing. When I found him, it was just like I knew that's where I needed to go. This is the path that I needed to follow. So we started work with HHO cells. He already done biodiesel and the previous work with. Uh, the HHO cells and a couple of other things. And from there it progressed um, to a few other technologies and where we stand today is with the Gadget Man Um Through my experience, I've found that the Gadget Man Group is my number one to go to. For the simple fact that it is an easy modification, it can be done in minimal amounts of time. It's not adding anything to your engine, it's not taking anything away. It's so amazing that we're changing the way the air flows into the system and making something so wonderful. We're increasing horsepower and torque and reducing our emissions, which is my number one thing. I hate the fact that we go outside every day and there's a cloud of brown smoke. You know, Arkansas used to be the most beautiful place. Now, I, it's not to that. It is still one of the most beautiful places. And it, has declined for me in the last 10 years specifically because I walk outside and there's a haze. You know, it's not the same color, it's not the same glow, it's, it just looks dull because we keep, you know, throwing off pollution. So when I found something as wonderful as this, I just sit on myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you know, I, I, you impress me as someone who is factual and that is that it's show me the numbers. Right, show me the facts, then let me make my decision on that. So you're not the type of person to go running off into the wild blue yard because somebody says, oh, there's something pretty over there. Okay? You say, well, okay, well, look, tell me more. You know, and that's, that's the impression of the type of person you need to do. You need numbers, right? Math, yeah. right? Yeah. Show me math, right? I like the details. Yeah, yeah, tell me, tell me what's really going on, right? You know, that, and since uh, I've had the pleasure of knowing you, it has been a tremendous pleasure, you know, extremely long. Okay. Uh, and, uh, you know, then, well, um, I'd like for you to consider helping well, train other people as gadget people, gadget guys, gadget guys, gadget guys, whatever, all right? Uh, because of who you are and your, your manners and, and your disposition. And, and because you want more facts, all right? These are the facts. Right? So, the, you came down originally about five or six weeks ago. Uh, for the for an impromptu case. So you guys come on over here, I'll show you what's going to bring the bring it to me, I'll do it very correctly, then watch what happens. Yeah. So can you can you give a little bit of uh, detail on what yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So we had found out about the group, uh, and we tried to make one our own before we knew how the process was done and mm -hmm. what it took to make an actual gas in the room. Uh, we had seen improvements, but nothing like what we've seen after we've had the chance to sit down and talk with you and learn how to do the gas in the room. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what Aaron used, but I saw what it looked like, and I've seen what the actual room looks like. And it's, it's understandable how there could be a difference, uh, mm -hmm. a significant difference in the increase in mileage that we saw and horse mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. So coming here, was definitely a good thing. Mm -hmm. I was interested when I heard about it, and mm -hmm. after Aaron tried it with this the improvement, I was eager to see what happened once we actually learned how to improve. Mm -hmm. And since we've done it, we've had the chance to modify 25 vehicles, and mm -hmm. we've seen improvements in every single one of them in, in a positive direction, which is the best thing we can do for our community back home, mm -hmm. which is what we're trying to do. We're not just trying to do this for ourselves, we're doing it for everyone. Mm -hmm. you, guys, you guys are all dead. Okay? Because you don't you don't accept what you're told. You go out there and explore. Right? And 
from my standpoint, I've got people in 17 countries and 37, 38, I've lost track of number of states. Okay? And, you know, all the way around the world, you know that I'm dealing with people that I'm trying to get them to do what you guys went back and jumped in and started doing. Okay? Yeah. And because you acted out of faith and with an inability to challenge, this thing's an amazing thing. I mean, I've, I've never seen the likes of what you guys have done in Arkansas. You guys are without a doubt the poster children for what a dead man's supposed to be doing. Okay, get out there and do it, do it right, and then follow through. And you guys have done all that. Right? Now, but you, you don't want to be productive over there. So why, why come back for another round? Because there's always more to learn. You can go out something the first time and miss a hundred things that you didn't see, but it can have a significant impact if you go and see it again. In closing, um, now, what, you, this, is, this, is, this is your show uh, mm -hmm. for the next minute or so. All right. Please tell, speak to the world out there, tell them whatever you want to tell them. Okay. Um, so, I think we should all be watching them too. I can do that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my experiences here have taught me a lot, and it has taught me that it doesn't matter what you believe, you can do it with the right situation, the right people, and the people you, you know, it's, it's not about just going through life and the law and the dog and the good thing like that. It's about taking the time to pursue something that you feel is worthwhile and to find the information and to dig around and find the little bits and tidbits that you didn't know about that can make a world of difference in the end. Uh, leaving here is going to affect all of you, whether you know it or not. Just by me being here and the people that are here with us, you're going to be affected by this as well. And we're very positive about it. And I am pleased to say that we had a huge part in making this happen for you. So I hope that you feel the same way and I hope that you try this out. You know what, what more needs to be said, uh, except for. Oh, yeah. Remember, smile for well, a stranger today, you will both be glad to do it, right? Yeah, that's right. So God bless y'all. Remember, never accept face value, what you're told. Go out there and find out yourself. God bless y'all. Okay.